For many content creators, coming up with ideas, filming, and sharing and hearing what people have to say is the best part of creating content. But for some creators, it's the editing process that gets in the way of creating that video that could change your life forever. And I think the biggest limiting factor for most people regarding editing is the amount of time it takes to finish a video. It can take hours and hours to edit a video that you're proud of. And if you're not a full-time content creator and you're trying to squeeze in time to make videos between a full-time job, having a family, or just having a regular life, this can be really difficult or maybe even impossible. I totally understand this. I've been making YouTube videos for 10 years now crazy to say. So today I'm going to share with you guys some editing smart tools that can speed up your editing dramatically. For this video, I'm going to be using a browser-based video editor called Kapwing because it's all online so you don't have to download anything so anyone can use it. And it also has a lot of smart editing tools like Smart Cut, which automatically edits out these silences in your video, auto level volume, so you don't have to spend as much time doing audio edits in videos, and also changing the playback speed so you can watch drafts and review footage before you start editing with much more speed. So click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Kapwing and let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and click the first link in the description. It'll take you to kapwing.com and just click start editing. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is of course just upload your footage. So go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna drag it in. Okay, so as you can see, it is uploading here, but you are able to start editing. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something called Smart Cut. Smart Cut is really useful because it will cut out all the silences of your video automatically. So you can see in the waveform here, there are large chunks of silence where maybe I'm reading my script. Now, standardly, what I would just do is I would find a silence and then just click the split button or the S button on your keyboard. Um, this is still obviously a really useful tool to know. Click split and then just delete that part out. But if you have a video that's like 30 minutes of raw footage, that can take a really, really, really long time. Luckily on Kapwing, there's a tool called Smart Cut. So you just have to click a video clip and then you can move over to the right here and click Smart Cut. And if you click that, then you will see that it will just highlight all of the silences in your video. You can see that the red segments are portions of the video that are silences. And then you can change the sensitivity down here um, using this slider. So if I want it to be less sensitive and cut out less, then I would move it down here. And if I want every single little uh, silence to be cut out, I could move it all the way over here. And you can get a preview of what it's gonna sound like by clicking the play button. It's picking up steam fast. It's on the TikTok Discover page. You've probably seen some. If there is a portion of the video that you don't want it to cut out that is highlighted red, you can also go in and just click the segment and then it will remain when you click the done button. So when you're done, you can just click the done button right here. And now the video is already rough cutted in just a couple clicks. You can see that this cut out like 40 seconds of just silence in just a two and a half minute video. Now, the second thing that I wanna show you guys is auto volume leveling. So let's say that you have this draft um, and you are pretty much done with the video, but you're gonna do audio edits later. So now, instead of watching through the entire video and making tweaks to the audio of something's louder or softer than another clip, you can do it in just a couple clicks for the entire video. Okay, so as you can see, there are different volumes here. This one's lower, this one's quite high, this one is the regular. And this is an example because in a video, you might use different clips, you might get closer or further away from the microphone. You might speak more loudly or softly in different parts of the video. And so audio leveling is really important. So usually you would go in and just make tweaks manually, clip by clip. But with this tool, you can just highlight the clips that you want to auto level. And then up on the right here, you will see auto level volume. Just go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it is all leveled out now in the timeline. So it went from sounding like this in a row quickly with some flashing. Then you see a bunch of pictures in a row flash by with to this. Some flashing. Then you see a bunch of pictures in a row flash by with some. In general, when you do this, it will bring the audio down instead of bringing quieter audios up. So just be aware that the audio will generally get quieter when you use the auto level volume because we don't want to make the high levels peak. Now for tip number three, this is really useful for when you are reviewing your footage or when you're done with a draft and you just wanna make sure that the video is good before you export it. I know I watch drafts over and over and over again and sometimes that alone can take an hour or more just from watching the footage. Um, but now it can be a lot faster using the playback speed function here. You can see that there's this one X button. This is indicative of the playback speed and when you click on it, you can change it to up to four times speed. So obviously for speaking videos, four times is a little fast, 
um, because it makes it hard to hear. But if you're mostly looking at things like overlays, if you have B-roll um, and looking at the visuals, then this might be a good option. And you can always decrease it, of course, down to something like two times speed, which will be much more manageable. So let's try it now. And then you get hit with the final video, which shares the videos in the present um, and shows how long time. And pretty so yeah, that can be really useful for reviewing footage and for also reviewing a draft to make sure that it's exactly how you like it. So then when you're happy with your video, you can just go ahead and click the export button. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope that this reduces your editing time so you can spend more time creating. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and also so you can keep up with other video editing tips and trends and I'll see you guys in the next one.